Hi, welcome to another two minute tip. This one's called, it's all about the inversions. Now what do I mean by that? Well, inversions of chords are just, the best way to think of it really is, the notes that make up a chord can be in any order. As long as you've got the same bunch of notes, it doesn't matter which ones are played low and which ones are played high, they can be jumbled up, they're still the same chord. For example, here's an A7 chord. Here's another A7 chord. Here's another A7 chord. And here's another A7 chord. And if I had more frets and longer neck, I could keep going and find more and more. But I've got four A7 chords there. Now I can choose any one of them when the tune calls for an A7. But so why would I want to? Well, there's a few reasons. One is it stops you getting bored. It stops the song being boring. It stops you getting bored going... I'm going to play an A7 for eight bars. Of course I could play that for one bar, that for another bar, that for another bar, and that for another bar. The other thing about it is that it allows you to pick a chord that makes a nice smooth change to the next chord. So instead of having a chord up here and a chord down here as your next chord, which is choppy and jumpy, you can find two that sit very, very close to each other, very, very nicely. So you can go from A7 to D7. That's a nice change. It sounds, sounds smooth. It doesn't sound like, which is a bit of a leap. The other thing though, sometimes those leaps are useful because if you can pick a chord where the highest note is either the melody note at that point or pretty close to the melody note so you could stretch and reach it, you can start playing chord melody style. Here's an example. If I play an A7 here and just stretch my little finger one fret higher and then I have another A7 here and another A7 here, that's the first line of uh, Shine on Harvest Moon, which just goes like this. Now that's all A7. You would see just A7 written over that whole line of the tune in the songbook. But because we play different A7s, either the song the song's melody is either the high note of each chord or right close to that highest note of the chord is the actual note and I can probably stretch a finger to reach it. So A7 with an extra note added here, back to A7 again and then the rest of them are just that note's already in that A7 and that one's already in that A7. Try and find at least two ways of playing every single chord you know. Find some alternative ways of doing it. And you'll soon start to find that you can play much smoother chord progressions and you can start picking out the melody. And that's the route to chord melody playing. Hope this helps. See you again next time. Bye.